in this competitive environment. We have to be competitive and all we're doing here is eliminating miles that the driver could potentially drive and helping make that driver more efficient when they do their job. It's an octocopter. It's designed uh, with enough redundancies to stay in the air. So if, uh, if one prop should go out, it can still fly. If two goes out, it can still at least land. It's talking to the truck via RF and we have 4G. Dual communications, eight props, eight motors, multiple systems inside there, all designed to keep it in the air. The truck is its own beacon. It's broadcasting its position. The bird is, is broadcasting its position. So the two through the cloud are talking to each other. So we put a battery in there that can, can do the line of sight and then when it redocks with the truck can charge very quickly off the giant battery in the electric truck. So it's just designed to hop all day, short hops. The FAA uh, last year uh, released uh, Part 107, which basically allows for visual line of sight uh, operation below 400 feet with the drone upwards to 55 pounds that can fly upwards to 100 miles per hour. What will happen next uh, as the technology emerges is a beyond visual line opportunity as well as the, the uh, opportunity to fly over people. Ultimately, if we wanted to work on any vehicle. When, when the regulations and the um, and the technology gets to the place that we need it to be able to do it uh, and be safe for everyone, then we would really want it on possibly any vehicle. That drone is the same color as the truck, is the same color as the uniform, and so it's, it's trusted. If somebody tried to hack it, you know, the driver at least would know about it. If we were sending it beyond line of sight 30 miles, right, and somebody hacks it, you know, the odds of knowing what happened are very rare. But here we, we've got somebody basically watching it. In the end, the whole thing is softer, right? And the, the key to keeping it safe is to keep them talking constantly all together. Our main uh, server is watching everything. Worst case, if we lost 4G, then the truck is broadcasting an RF signal. It can grab that and return to truck. Uh, the driver can take control at any time. It runs fully autonomously. So to have an autonomous route that all of a sudden the driver could take and say either recall it with one button push or navigate it back in case the driver saw, saw it was having trouble somewhere. This is the first live test, right? So uh, now that we, we've successfully made it through this, we, uh, you know, we'll just continue to develop and refine. Well, sort of. What happened there with the... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. We tried to do, <laughs> for, the, for the photographers, we tried to do a kind of an augmented, uh, quick, uh, non-traditional delivery and something, something went wrong. We probably shouldn't have tried uh, something weird like that with everybody watching. But... Uh, we we're trying to accommodate you guys and something went wrong. Right now we're still evaluating the technology. It's all about safety for us right now. We're obviously sticking within the regulations, but safety is the key factor. We have to make sure that our customers, uh, the, the general public, and our employees are all safe. So when it's safe and it's ready to go, we'll be ready to use it.